Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we're looking at the bullishness of a price drop. Yes, these are the times that I get excited, I hope you do too. When the market comes down, that's the times that I think, sweet, I can get what I wanted to buy yesterday, but for 5, 10, 15, 20% cheaper than it was. I like buying on discount, I don't like buying things at full price. That's what we're looking at in today's video, looking at Bitcoin, Cardano, and a couple that haven't actually dropped too far, Solana being out in our portfolio, and of course, our other FTT. Before we get started, make sure you've hit that like button, and thank you guys, 200,000. We made it there in August in 2021. Thank you very much, 200,000. Thank you to all your messages in the videos as well. It means a lot. I just couldn't believe I could get to 200,000. It's crazy. I won't dwell on that too much more. I just want to say a huge thank you and I appreciate your time and support on the channel. So if you like to hit that 200, we're going for 300,000. We're going to do that when? You tell me down below. Let's try and get to 201,000 so far. So the, the next piece we're going to look at is the price charts and I am bullish. Markets are correcting we want to see good corrections on these and good solid bases, as I mentioned here in the intro. So price drops are disheartening. We get it. Might be buying the tops. You know, it's just that last little bit that pulls us into the top of the market. So I've got to buy this ADA at $2.98. It reaches $3.02 and, and then it tanks. That sucks. But if we can hold ourselves accountable and wait for the base to form, we have an upwards bias in cryptocurrency. So it basically gets us out of trouble. It's just a matter of time. It's our time factor. Buying at tops or buying at pullbacks, it's going to be up to you depending on whether you see it as a continued bull market or a fall in the bear, a continued fall in the bear. So I like to buy on the pullbacks in a bull market and I'm seeing it as a macro bull market. So the pullbacks is where I like to buy. Uh, the length of the base is positive being that we want a solid base for a bull market. So if we get a long, solid base, generally we can springboard nice and quick from those long, solid bases. Price drops are disheartening. We, we know that. We've been through them. We'll continue to get them. So we just have to get used to it and feel the fear as a time to be getting greedy. And the more fear there is, the more greedy we need to get. Bitcoin at the moment down from yesterday, well, yesterday was down only 4.4% and currently sitting at basically the same price as what it opened at. We are still sitting above our 50%, but I suspect if we get a break below yesterday's low of 46,300, it might just start to get a little bit more of a push on for this correction. So I'm preparing myself if I see that, it's not going to freak me out because I'm kind of expecting that, especially at this point in the market after going up for about five and a half weeks. We have one, two, three, four. This is our fifth week and about basically a half week from uh, midpoint in July. So five and a half weeks up. We've seen that multiple times in the market. We've talked about it on the channel. What happens? We get a pullback. This was COVID. You know, if we didn't get it so deep and so hard, maybe we would have just had it a little more shallow and a move up from that point. But either way, the market was ready to go up. This was just a beautiful buying opportunity and then it got us out of the mess pretty damn quickly. The other five week or so was in the bear market. So we had five weeks up, everyone was getting super excited like we were about to go on a new uptrend and then it started to fade against us. But note the differences here is that this was underneath our major 50%. That 50% is from the bear market low to the bull market high and currently where we are, we've bounced off our 50% here. Does this mean that it has to only go up from here? Of course not. There's no guarantees in the market. I'm just looking for strength and weakness. And this is another sign of weakness. You can see the market's just flat uh, dropping in its volume. So we want to see some volume come back in on one of these dumps like we saw in May. This is going to get me very, very excited, especially if that low is higher. And if it hits a 50%, amazing. 37K it spikes down to and then closes back above or close to the 50% at 40K. That would be the ultimate for me at this point, uh, especially if we get a lot of volume come in like we saw in, in May, of course, because at the moment, there's just sort of waning. People are figuring out what they want to do. Is there anything left in the market? Uh, should I be buying now? Is it a bear trap? There's still all these sort of questions. And I think that 
a, a dump or a nice strong correction with volume will show us where the market is telling us. It's telling us where that bottom is. And you can see that the market didn't really go much lower than this bar here and it never closed be beneath the low of that May, that scary week in May. Or basically, it was the day that we went uh, live on the channel. So that low was at 30,066 and we didn't get any closes below that. That's a very subtle point to note as well. The closes were all above that zone before we took off. So it is getting me excited. This is, and I'm not just trying to tell myself that, we are getting some falls or hopefully a little further down. Nice little zone. Recoup and start to wait for that next period. How long is it going to take? Anyone's guess. You know that these can take some time. We can be weeks or months beneath these levels, sorting itself out before we start to move again. And that's fine. The longer and the length of the base is positive and a solid base is needed for a bull market. We don't want to just go straight up from this point because that's going to be very weak and we'll probably come back into the zone and then we're going to have to wait that time out anyway. We can't, there's no getting rich quick. We've got to wait that time out at some point. Now, some colored candles for ADA. We have come back, check that out, to the previous all-time highs. Remember the zones from yesterday's video and the video before. We have the closes at around that 230 mark and then the swing top also at around the $2.30. So, you know, if it spikes down, that's fine. But we want to primarily, uh, we want to see the closes primarily above those closes from the previous all-time high and this swing high. So when the market closes, that's where we want to see it to give us the small, subtle signs of strength that we're beginning to form a base and work our way higher. That's the sort of things that I'm be looking at and where I'm happy to continue DCAing into the position here, knowing full well that it could just come back, break the lows, and the show's over. That, 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 that is always a possibility, and we can definitely be wrong, uh, especially when markets take off like this. But overall, I'm quite bullish because of the position of Bitcoin. Let's get some color. And uh, what it's setting up to do here on the weekly chart before we continue with the next stage of the bull market at whatever time frame that is, later 2021, 2022, 2023, it doesn't really matter. If we're making these gains slowly and, uh, you know, over the next couple of years, I see it as probably one of the fastest ways to be building wealth um, and that there is in the markets. That, of course, is my opinion on cryptocurrency, which is why I'm, I'm in the space. Uh, you might have a different opinion. You just want to get your quick money and throw it into something else, maybe buy a Lambo. I, I don't know. But that's my overall view of the markets. Uh, in terms of Ethereum, also above the 50% today, we can see that it's holding above this swing low. If it starts to break down from this swing low that's set around 20, uh, 2,950, then I'm looking for the next swing high. And this little box here that sits, that sits at around the 50% at 2,500, uh, that's going to be another good area for, for me to pick up more ETH. And as for Sol, we have just moved our way above the previous all-time high today after the drop yesterday. So this looks like it's in a reasonably strong position. Still 20 and a half hours to go. The close would want to be above. That's what we're looking for here for Sol to continue with that strength. It's just crazy. It's been up, has small correction, big volume on that move out. And then today we're going to look for that and more volume. So Solana is also looking quite strong. FTT, different sort of setup here for um, FTX exchange, which the token is FTT, someone was asking. This has come back and sat on 50 and the 50 is at around that 42, $43. So I like this because it's quite close to the 50 at 46 and I'm continuing to get a little more at these levels, even if it fell into the 30s, high 30s, that's pretty good for me. Uh, but the the sign here would be probably, that would be my first signal there. We start to break down the 36, then I think we're probably going to stay in this little churny range through here. That's why I'm still bullish on the market overall. I see strength in Bitcoin. I see strength in the cryptocurrencies which have broken to new all-time highs. Of course, this can go against us. We know that. But the main thing I like is Bitcoin that it's starting to get a correction. And I want to see a, a base form for the next stage, for the next push up. So we can see it time and time again, market will spike out of a zone, form another base, move again, form another base, move again, not ready, let's form a longer base, try it, and we've dropped back into the zone and we continue to form 
the base before we take off again. So hopefully these bases are continuing up for Cardano, for everything else that we're holding, and we get this nice stair-stepping pattern all the way out of the lows. Now for an update with our SWIFTX portfolio, ADA, Sol, FTT, which is of course FTX Exchange, currently sitting at around 13,300. This is about a 33% increase. Now they do show the figures in USD, uh, in Aussie dollars, and they also show it in Bitcoin value as well. So you can see what value you have in terms of Bitcoin, which is pretty cool. I have 0.28 in uh, BTC value in my portfolio. Uh, so yeah, if you are trading in Australia, SwiftX, link to this is down below. Set yourself up with multiple Australian exchanges if you're in Australia, of course, because Sometimes when the markets do go crazy, some of these go down. That's why I have multiple set up just like SwiftX. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. It is an update. I am still bullish. I like corrections. That's the times where I want to get greedy when the markets are going down. Often I'm called a bearish this and that. I get way more excited when the markets go down because I see it as a reset point rather than the markets going up. That gets me scared because I don't know where this reset point is. Who knows how far it can go? I want those buying positions and then I want to be selling on the way up. I hope you're starting to get the feel for that. If you are and you enjoy the content, like the video up, subscribe to the channel. Let's go for 210,000 subscribers. Thank you very much once again for hitting me or oh, for getting us to 200,000 on the channel. I'll see you on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, there's the free newsletter that you can get access to. The link to that is down below. Once every two weeks, we talk about cryptocurrencies, investing, stocks, and the property market as well as that cycle goes nuts. We're going up a lot in value in a lot of these assets. Free newsletter down below. I'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.